That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, boy! Ladies and boys and girls, today we're actually going to be going and picking up a new machine. Christian! What? Do you know what it is? Yeah. We're picking up a three-wheeler. We've never actually bought a three-wheeler. I've never owned a three-wheeler, and today's going to be the first day I buy or own a three-wheeler. Now, how's this going to go? I don't really know. We're actually going to the place where I bought my kangaroo. They had a three-wheeler come through the auction, and it didn't sell, so my buddy Rossi texted me, and uh, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll buy it. So, let's hop in the truck. Let's go get Julius. Yo, welcome to the party. We got to go get a new machine. You know what we're getting, right? Mm, not really. The three-wheeler. There's a three-wheeler at the chicken auction, and we got to go get it. No shit. Yeah. It's a 91. Everything's perfect. It, it runs, it drives. Is it a big red? It's a small red. It's a 110. You remember the three wheelers I used to have? Yeah. So, have Julius, we bring him. He used to have three wheelers. Mm -hmm. He used to have the big red 250. Yep. Had two of them. You had two? Oh shit, I don't think I only had one. And today we're getting the baby red. So now that we got Julius, he is in the party. We got about an hour 20 drive to go get this thing. So, uh, let's just kick it into montage. Let's show it to y'all. We have made it. We are at the chicken auction. I think they're getting ready for an auction tonight. Well, we gotta find this three-wheeler. We need to find our boy Rossi, find the three-wheeler, pay for the three-wheeler, and get that joker on a trailer. Come on, man. Get out of your gas. Yeah. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Yeah? That's awesome. This, we're picking up the 110. You know where Rossi's at? All right. All right, sweet. I appreciate that. That thing's sweet. We'll look at it when it gets over to the truck. Hey, man, we having an auction? Or what? Yeah, man, you come and check me out. I might, I might be back. Might as well. I don't we got know. some turkeys. Come check me out. You got turkeys? Yeah, we got turkeys. Okay, we're gonna check out some turkeys real quick. Hey, I got a bunch of turkeys. Hell yeah. We already got the three-wheeler over to the truck. Yes. We just got paid for it. Well, we just got the three-wheeler paid for, and it is all of ours, so we can go put that thing on the trailer now. Things going to be sweet. Let's check this thing out. Rossi, I'm surprised it didn't bring more to the auction. How much did it top out at the auction? 500. 500? And the guy wanted 600, so Rossi texted me, like, yeah, I'll take it. Check this thing out. Yeah, the zip tie specials are pretty cool. That thing is sweet, though, but for, it's a 90, what'd you say it was? Uh, like a 94, 95. 94, 95? 85. 90, 85. 85. Holy crap. Huh. Crap! Where does it say that? Oh shit! That is a 1985. Dude, that is old. That thing is 38 years old. That is nuts. For a 110, it's pretty big. It's fast. It's fast. Yeah, it's fast. It'll probably do about 40 with me on it. 40. Hell Good oh, grief. Shit. So they banned these things because the three-wheeler system's just so unsafe because they just roll. They're so easy to roll, and that's when the four-wheeler started happening. quicker than I thought it was going to be. Can we get the wheelie though? No way. <laughs> So but dude, your rear brake pedal, it works. Your hand brake works, the pedal works, everything works other than the pull start just going out on us. Do the headlights work? Are they on? Yeah. Headlights work? Dude. A 1985? That is why you buy Honda right there. 38 year old three wheeler. Looks like it's got a new carb on it. That's pretty sweet. Turn it off. See if this thing's still not catching. Yeah. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to fix that one. Rossi, a little, yeah, you broke it. I ain't broke it. It crunked, didn't it? It crunked, then you broke it. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It pulled just a minute ago. It, it, did pull, it literally just broke. Yeah. <laughs> it literally just did it. Oh, well. Got a lot of uh, stitches done to it. That'll be all right. But, dude, for it to be 38 years old, that thing's pretty good. clean. Well, that's like suspension work. right there. <laughs> yeah, that's some suspension. Get us one more drop. Pick it on up. Oh yeah. What do you think, Josh? We're gonna have fun with it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take who's it gonna, through the swamp. Who's gonna we fight? might. Who's gonna jump it? I don't know. That's, that's gonna be the scariest the jump. Sketchiest thing in the world to jump. <laughs> Christian, <laughs> you jumping it? Nope. I'll break it and myself. Probably. <laughs> yeah, we might snorkel it. Snorkel it. Put some mud tires on it. I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead. Let's get this thing on the trailer. Get it to the house so we can really test it and see what it's made of. The 1985 Honda three wheeler. <laughs>
guys, we're getting this thing off the trailer. I think it's gonna roll. No, probably not. Ah, let's find out. It, it kinda, kinda did. It has Dude, no suspension. It has no front suspension. I didn't even think about that, bro. <laughs> that is nuts. I thought a lot of them come with like the little like shocks right here. Yeah, no. Does it have suspension in the rear? Dude, it's got no suspension in the rear. Is that like supposed to be like that? Look, there's, there's no suspension. <laughs> it's literally just tire bounce. Oh, wow. Oh, dude, I don't even know if we need to fix the uh, pull starter. Bro, did you see that? Yeah. I just reached down, grabbed the shifter in my hand, it took nothing to start it. So, I was about to pull this off. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and pull it off. Let's see here, what are we dealing with? But now, guys, this is something that I've never had before. We have never had a three-wheeler on the channel. This is the first time we've ever done one. I don't really know how long this thing's gonna last, but dude, check it out. This thing is a 1985. It is 38 years old. Is that not nuts? It's crazy because the pull starter worked when we got there and then it just literally quit working right after the first pull it broke so we're gonna see if we can't fix that real quick probably gonna have this machine a while and honestly i want to see how we can float it and we need to snorkel it and get some mud tires on this thing see if we can't get this shifter off who knows when the last time this thing came off was there it is boom 38 year old shifter off now i don't know what could have broken here to make this thing stop pulling but we fitting to find out three bolts hmm so this thing's definitely supposed to grab onto that thing. Yep. So what happened? There it is. It's hooked back up. All right, I think we got it. That simple, huh? That was way too simple. But dude, 600 bucks? That's hard to beat. Yeah, we got it. We fixed it. Well, let's give it a start. Oh, Christian hit the throttle. Got the throttle? Yep. I mean, first pull. Starts right up. Starts right up. Oh, and it idles. Yeah, dude, it almost oh. idles. <laughs> Granted, it's cold right now. This shifter is way too high, so I'm gonna put it on a bit lower. This thing's probably gonna be a lot of fun. But now that we got this machine fixed and the pull starter works, let's give it a good little look over. So we do have some broken plastics. They are zip tied all together. They are stitched up. Two on the front fender, one on this fender, and it looks like the headlights zip tied in. That's not too big of a deal. But dude, if these are factory decals, that is insane. You just don't see decals on a metal gas tank anymore that's 38 years old. See if the gas tank tank's got rust in it. I didn't even look this thing over for the price. Oh yeah, she a little rusty. We need to put a, some fuel in it. She's almost out. We ain't got much gas, but we got enough to ride it. You don't want to put some of that high octane in there? Nah, we don't need none of that <laughs> expensive stuff. This thing don't need much to run. But dude, I couldn't believe it only went for $500 at auction. Like this thing's sick. I mean, just this metal gas cap. I mean, you can sell it on eBay for like 50 bucks. Bro, look at it. It's idling. It might have been because it was about out of gas. Dude, it's idling good. That one pipe straight out the back, is that not dope? What's the odds there's tools in the toolkit? Oh, bro, you twist that to open it? That's old school. Oh, there's a knife blade back here. So technically there Look, is a tool. <laughs> there is one tool in there. That's not factory though. <laughs> Throw this one in the garbage. We are missing a piece of plastic right here, but that's it, dude. But overall, I mean, this is a sexy machine, dude. Little old school Honda with the old chrome bars. But it's gonna be very cool because this is something we've never done before. So now we get to rip around on a three-wheeler. We might have a lot of fun with it. We might need to get like three or four more, right? That would be Pl sick. Play a uh, three-wheeler tag? That would be dangerous. <laughs> Really dangerous. You, you thought the pit wheelers was dangerous? Pit bikes, okay, it goes pit bikes, pit wheelers, and then three wheelers. <laughs> way too dangerous. Hell yeah. We're probably gonna have to do it, but this thing, they did ban making three wheelers because they were so dangerous, especially these. I mean, they just stopped production. But I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna slap on the helmet. I'm gonna go give this thing its first rip and see how she rides. So I'm gonna ride the three wheeler. We're actually getting Christian on the old TRX 90. This is a 2000 TRX 90. This is what put that out of business. So we're gonna see how the two compare. Dude, this thing runs so good. There's no way it's got reverse, right? No, it does not have reverse. That would have been crazy. Let's see, how's this thing gonna ride? Oh, it's so funky. Oh yeah, this is hella sketch. Oh my gosh, that looks so sketch. <laughs> There's third, put it in fourth. Maybe it only has three gears. Oh, maybe second gear? Wait, what's going on? Oh, nope, there's fourth. I lied. Just clicking in and out of gear is a little funky. Three-wheeler wheelies. Oh, this thing just does not have enough ass. Now, this thing's gonna be scary if we try to jump it. Oh, yeah, this thing's terrible, bro. <laughs> no suspension. Well, at least it's got a big, soft seat. I don't know what people were thinking when they designed these things. I, I guess it was a good idea back in the day, but, I mean, they're just obsolete now with four-wheelers. Let's go hit the jump. I don't think we're gonna air it out because this thing has no suspension whatsoever. It's just bumpy just driving in the grass. Oh, shit. 
Hell no! I hit the ground, it's like it bounced back up into the air. Yo, that's sketch. That's not all right. I swear I hit the ground and came bounced back up into the air. Nope, not a jumper. That is nuts. There's gotta be like cool tricks people do with these old three-wheelers, right? Other than flip them because they're death traps. <laughs> We're gonna have to do all kinds of stupid stuff to this bike. This thing's gonna be so much fun. We gotta see if I can get into Willy. Oh yeah, baby! That's it, Christian! There's the wall. What is that? You can't wheelie that, bro? No way! There it is. Once you get it up to that balance point. Woo! That's pretty good, dude. I gotta hit a hand drag. No way you hand drag it. Oh, so close. He touched grass. We'll count it. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Woo! There it is! Hey, let's race! It's so weird like when you're used to four wheels and then this three, like everything's just so different. Until you get the front end off the ground, then it's the same. Oh! Uh-oh, Christian's upside down. What happened? I just fell off of it! Christian don't know how to wheelie, bro. Alright, you ready to race? Yeah, let's do it. That TRX is gonna wax this thing. Alright, you ready? One, two, three! Oh yeah, not the juice. I mean, we're just rolling the boat at this point. Oh, tractor! Oh, shit! We getting off to the side of the road. That's a big boy. All right, we're gonna have to run our race again. All right, one, two. Come on. There we go. Oh, they're second. All right, I'm pulling on them. See, man? Oh, we're losing gears already. Yep, this thing's not a speed demon. That is for sure. Let's see if it'll find fourth. Oh, there's four. That's, that's top gear. That's all she's got. This thing is slow as shit, dude. Yeah, that's all she's got. That is slow. All right, I'm topping it out. Oh my gosh. That's third. Yeah, this thing's whack. That's four. Struggling to keep up with Christian. Yep, it is slow as dog shit, people. I guess that's what you expect out of a 1985 110 three wheeler. Christian ain't even giving it all he's got. This thing's fourth gear tap. See you, loser. Oh my gosh, the mosquito spray. We gotta let Christian ride it. Yo, you are spraying for mosquitoes. It's smoking that bad? Oh, it's smoking. There you go, buddy. You're turning on the three wheeler. Dude, that thing looks so sketch. It's so iconic, though. It is. Okay, I'll ride it. I'll ride it. Yo, that thing smells like it's burning something. I hope it's not burning nothing. Oh, this one is clapped, bro. This is the uh, 2000. Oh yeah, this thing is clapped. But it feels so much safer than the... Uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> you did the same thing. You gotta keep up your speed. Oh, it literally has like no suspension. This thing is a beast though. This sounds quieter than my 22 TRX. Oh. Oh, wow, it's real bouncy. Oh, it feels faster, too. Let's go back to the compound, see if we can't catch up to Christian. Oh, yeah, this machine right here is collapsed. Okay, okay, okay. I would never buy one of these. Oh, my gosh, these things are scary. This one's seen better days. I mean, that's topped out on this one, unless we've lost fourth gear in it. Oh, Christian's coming down the jump. Oh, shit, what are you doing? Third gear. And not get enough air. This one right here is sketchy. Yeah, we might have to do uh, three-wheeler versus uh, TRX. I'm already going to tell you, the TRX is going to win it. Can we rock climb it? What is he doing? He's trying to climb with it? Let's see it. You ain't got it. Uh-oh. Nope. Yeah, you got to stay on the bike. No, that's way too sketch. You want me to fall. I don't feel safe on this thing. Oh, it's dangerous as hell, dude. I, like, was just taking, like, a normal just turn, and it started rolling. Oh, yeah. That's why they don't make them no more. That's why everything now has four wheels. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Okay, yeah, he's really dusting me out. We're not leaving him in the dust, baby! Second gear wheelies. But one thing about these little TRX-90s, bro, you can just ride wheelies on them forever. Hey, so what do you think? I mean, it's cool, but I see why they stopped making them. Julius will get rowdy on it. I want to see if Julius will jump it or something. We got to let Julius drive it. <laughs> Woo! Just going to wheel it all the way back to the house. There it is. I got to lean more right. You're in my way. I got to go across the ditch. No way. There's a tree. Dang it! It's hard to steer these things. That's a weird unit. We need to snorkel it and just go super, super, super deep. I feel like we could float it easily. Yeah, it would float so easy. It's already got balloon tire. It might float like it is. So the three-wheeler is super sketchy. I mean, like overall, what's your thoughts? Probably the sketchiest unit I've ever ridden. Yeah, I think we need two more. There's... <laughs> 
<laughs> There's a good thing it doesn't have a lot of power. I would never ride one with more power. We, we need a big one. We you think so? One. Oh gosh. If you like one of those big red 250s, that would be nuts. Julius! Where you at, buddy? Hey man. How's the water? Pretty freaking nice. You gotta come ride this three-wheeler, bro. Yeah? It is uh sketchy as hell. Is it? Very. Well, if it's sketchy, let's make it more sketchy. Let's put water on the concrete and do spinny spins. Oh, mm. gosh. That's a <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do Great it. Idea. Let's try it. Hi, right, cowboy. So we got the sprinkler water in the drift pad. Think you got it? Probably not. I'll... Bro, it's got no ass. Oh, really? No ass. Let's see if it's got it. If anybody can get the spin, Joe's can get yeah. it. He don't care about rolling. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, there it is! He's got it! He's got it, dude! <laughs> you gotta, like, put your foot down. Right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's sketchy. That's a little sketch. It's got no power. None at all. Oh! No. Oh. This thing is sketchy. Yeah, look at it! Oh! <laughs> that thing is dumb sketchy. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta take it down the road for a speed run. Alright, let's see how fast you'll go. Don't have too much fun with it. So Joe's about to go play on it. Oh, he plays on it. Let's figure out some plans for this thing. So I want to hear from you guys. Do we need to get a couple more three-wheelers? Like, I don't know if I want to get like two or three more, like we have with the little four-wheelers and the pit bikes, or if we want to actually snorkel this one, figure out how to snorkel it, maybe put some big floaty tires on it, see if we could float it, snorkel it, and go like 10 foot deep, maybe put it in the pool. I don't know. Just, what do you guys want to see? We have floated a couple Honda 300s on these tires, and I don't really think we could weld up and figure out how to put them on the three-wheeler 110, but I don't know. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff out there on the internet on these three-wheelers. So I'm down to try whatever. I'd really like to get it in the mud because currently the mud bike is down. My axles, I broke both of them. We we're trying to film a video for you guys. Maybe gave her too much pepper and broke both axles within literally five minutes. And since those are big custom axles, I actually had to send them off to Texas and I'm waiting to hear to see if they're going to be able to fix them and or duplicate them. I mean, I'm just like, I got no mud bikes. This folder right here is the 2023 Outlander. We were waiting on parts. We we're going to be turning it into a mud bike and this thing is going to be absolutely sick. Sick. We ordered a snorkel kit, wheels, tires, exhaust. I mean, we're gonna full out build this thing. I'm ready to have another mud bike. Oh gosh. What? It's Julius. He's FaceTiming. Yo. Dude, hurry up, get over here. We got a f problem. This thing's on fire. It's on fire? No. No, you're lying. Let me see it. Holy, Holy shit. shit! Yo! Damn! What'd you do? Oh, okay, we're bowling. Look at it. Oh my god! It's on fire! How did that happen? I went to go feed your f***ing turkeys. I left it running just sitting there. And I, I came around the f***ing corner and it, I saw smoke and that mother was just boosh. We just bought it. We got to play on it for 35 minutes. Do you have a fire extinguisher or anything? Water? It's done for. It, it's our, it's toast. It's, it's There's no toast. saving it. I, it. It is quite literally toast. Wow, it's hot, dude. How did it go up so quick? I, dude, I don't, I've got no idea. Was it leaking? Oh, oh, shit. All right, yeah, let's step back. They got a tire pop. All right, there ain't even no point in saving it. Did you call me as soon as it seen it on fire? As soon as I came around the corner and I saw it was on fire. Back there. Oh, Holy oh, shit. Dude. Okay, back up further. What in the hell, dude? Oh, man, 1985 Honda three-wheeler. Oh, shit. That, doesn't sound like that That's the that, that gas tank's about to explode. Bro, I got to move the defender. That, that gas tank's about to explode. It's burnt to a crisp. Might as well let it burn to the ground. It's done for. We had a three-wheeler, and then we didn't have a three-wheeler. Dude, do you hear it? Oh my wow. gosh. That thing is straight up ripping. Look at the gas tank. You can see the gas coming out of the gas vent. I've never had a machine catch on fire. I mean, it's done for. Do you have a water hose that'll reach out here? A fire extinguisher in the house or anything? I might have a fire extinguisher in the barn somewhere. You don't have a fire extinguisher in the barn? Like 1935. 1935? Do you not have one in your kitchen? Yeah, I think I do. Well, go get it, because it's on fire. We need a fire extinguisher more than ever. I'm scared to get close to it, though. Go get it, Julius! I think we had it for less than an hour. Two, three hours, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Do you got it? How far did these things shoot again? I don't know. I, I hope not. this works. There's the pin. Drain the fire extinguisher. Oh, no. Drain the fire That's not good. That's not doing nothing. Wow, it's still burning. 
That didn't do shit. Okay, okay. It, it didn't help. Okay. That's okay. that's not good. All um, right, we need a hose. Water hose. You don't have a water hose to reach. Okay. Oh, gosh. The fire department's definitely showing up. You don't have water hoses to reach out here. Uh, look at those on the bucket. The bucket, the bucket method? <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, we just need to get the fire out at this point. All right, we're gonna start filling this up. I mean, just go, I guess, film it burn. Boys, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen in two years working with Braden. Yeah. It's just sitting there, just on, the, it's so hot, bro. Look at that. I don't wanna like get too close. I don't know if something's gonna explode or what. I mean, that's as far as I can zoom in for you guys. Oh my gosh. You got it? I don't think it's enough water. <laughs> we're filling up the big barrel, but it's gonna take forever to fill up. Oh, that's not good. That not good at all. It, it literally just pisses off more. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Well, I don't, even, I don't even know if that's helping. I think this is the worst thing I've ever had happen. Oh, oh, okay. That did a little bit. That's something. I think three more buckets, we might got it. We might as well not even throw water on it anymore. I mean, look at it. It's done died out. That's all we have left. I've never seen that before. I've seen it like through friends, like stuff there's lighting on fire, but never had it happen to me. Holy crap. Dude. I gotta send the picture of the guy I bought this from to it. Bro, look at all the burnt rubber. That was like an actual minty three-wheeler. Oh, the fire department is gonna be here in no time. There's all our ideas out the window. Look at the smoke coming out of the motor where the oil plug burnt out. Oh my gosh. Did you oh see the oil gosh. shoot out of that? Yes. That joker is hot. I mean, that's a gas fire. Gotta be. Like, I don't know if the carburetor started leaking, but somehow it ignited it. Motor got really hot. Get another bucket for good measure. I would say sorry, but it's not my fault. It's never your fault, Jillis. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, look at it. Oh, it's done. That looks pretty sick, honestly. Dude, it's a f***ing <laughs> yard ornament. Yeah, think we right? can get it running again? Dude, we gotta hang it up from a tree at your new property. Oh. What in the hell? Dude, it had decals still on it. <laughs> 1985, 38 years old. Ain't getting no older. Well, I'm glad it wasn't like a brand new machine. Yeah. Look at all the rubber from where the tires burn off. Bro, I didn't even notice the chain system. Look at the cover on the chain. <laughs> That's badass. That's really well designed. Look at the top of the gas tank. That gas cap that I was talking about, it's worth money. It's gone. There's nothing salvageable. Maybe the bars, that money is might as well have thrown it in the trash. What the hell, dude? And why the hell didn't the fire extinguisher put it out that just got out of the house? Like, that thing didn't even work. Like if we were in a situation trying to put a fire out with a car, somebody was in, uh, I might as well call them jerky. What a waste. I'll tell you one thing, it doesn't like this July heat. <laughs> yeah, it's hot, dude. It's really hot. Damn it, dude. <laughs> so you came over here to feed the turkeys. Yep. I left it running. It was idling. I just walked over there to go take care of your f***ing turkeys. And I was just moseying on back, you know, looking, just looking at the ground. Was it like a small fire when you came back around? It wasn't small, but it was like, I mean, this side wasn't lit. That thing went up quick like this there wasn't any fire on this side it was like i could see it kind of peeking out right here that'd be where and the carburetor then, is and then as i kept on coming it just eventually exploded and started puffing black smoke and that's well, when I, you called me it was yeah. total yeah. i mean it was already done it went from nothing to something real fast i don't know how like how does that even happen i've never even heard of a Bike catching on I, fire. My buddy, when I was in high school, he had like a Chinese 110 and he showed me a picture of it on fire and like it was engulfed look just freaking, like that. Look at the tire. Oh, yeah, jerky oh rubber right there. Damn it. We just we just spent like what almost three hours in a truck to go pick up this thing. I uh, ain't saving that. I wonder if you could. Like, I wonder if you ran oil and gas to that mug and put uh, you'd have to put all new lines and that'd be a pain. There's no we safety. We might could try to get it. There's no way it's right. <laughs> no, there's smoke coming out of the motor right now as more, I'm looking at it. You put more oil in it. It might just burn oil a little bit. No, no, it, <laughs> it's, it's done for. I was really looking forward to like doing some goofy shit with it. Like big tires, maybe turning. Big tires in the back, small tire yeah, in the front. <laughs> floating it, something. Because at the end of the day, I was like, sweet, it's cheap. I don't really care if we, you know, snorkel it. If it sinks, it's a Honda. You know, we just... You know, but I guess I'm gonna go get the skid steer and pick this thing up and all right, I need to let it cool off first. And yeah, can you get this ash out of my driveway? Shut up. <laughs> I guess I'll put it in the dumpster. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit the like, like, and subscribe. You know, we try to post three videos a week. They never go as planned. Prime example. Maybe we'll have a video of trying to get this motor to run. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it <might> yeah! <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>